Hi guys, it is a Friday in August, which means it's dinner and a movie night for Austin August, which means that Beth is back with another Eat Like Austin post. If you missed the last one, I will leave it linked below. She showed us how to make Selma Gundy, and there have been other Eat Like Austin posts in previous years. I will link to everything that Beth has ever done on my blog. But for today's recipe, she's doing beans and bacon, which sounds like something we would probably eat here for the 4th of July. So it sounds good to me. Anything with bacon, honestly, sounds good to me. I am curious to see the Regency twist on the recipe. So if you are curious too and would like to find out just how Regency folk did beans and bacon and how it's kind of been updated for a modern audience, stay tuned. So you're going to start off with about three to four ounces of bacon. For most types of bacon, that would be three to four slices. This bacon's a bit shorter and thinner than most kinds. You're going to take that bacon and you're going to dice it up. So cut the slices in half and then just cut them from there. This is so that you can get them nice and crispy, little crispy bacon bits. Break them apart so that they all come in even contact with the pan once you get them on the burner. Of course, throw them into the pan of your choice. And set them cooking over medium to medium high heat. Meanwhile, open up a can of your favorite kind of beans, mine happen to be black beans, and drain the liquid off thoroughly. Get a microwave safe bowl Toss about half that can of beans into the bowl and then microwave it uh, about a minute, just enough to heat it up. Then you're going to add a nice slice of butter. Be as generous as you want to be. This is a flavor enhancer. Go ahead and stir that in so that the butter melts and coats the beans completely. You don't want them to be sitting in a butter stew, but you do want to make sure that butter is kind of in everything. Okay, once the bacon is nice and crispy and sizzled, go ahead and scrape it out of the pan and toss it over the beans. Try not to get too much of the bacon grease in there, just the crispy bacony bits. And give that another stir so you incorporate the beans and the bacon together. Next, it's time to add some bread. Go ahead and chop up some bread. I did them in rather large pieces here because that's how I roll, but you probably want to make them a bit smaller, so one inch by one inch or a little bit less. Gently and carefully stir to combine so you don't knock anything out of the bowl. And then you're ready to go, the ultimate Regency comfort food. So there you have it. That's another Eat Like Austin post from Beth down. If you would like to see more from Beth, as I mentioned, everything from her that has ever been on my blog will be linked in the info below, as well as the whole shebang of Austin and August. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Interviews, reviews, guest posts, giveaways, lots and lots of stuff. So make sure that you stop by and check it out. But that is all for this video. As always, thanks for watching and happy reading and eating.